To position to win the game. Uh, when you're a fifth seed, you're going to have to beat the number one seed on their home floor. Uh, you want to do it on Sunday when the crowds aren't as good. And, uh, you know, down the stretch, we had too many plays around the basket. We didn't finish. Uh, we had some crucial turnovers. And I think uh, 33, Withers, I think he hit seven threes in the second half, and I want to say four more loose balls. So the guy was just kind of hovering around, the ball kicked out to him, and he banged him in. So yeah, that was big for them. So uh, I got told our team, privileged to coach this young man, uh, best practice player I ever coached in my career, one of the best human beings as well. Uh, Keyshawn, uh, as a senior, what do you take away from the season, and what do you tell the guys? Uh, that are, that are younger and have a few more years, what do you tell them to, to do in the off season and, and work towards? Just the work, the work you put in off the court and the transition to the, on the court. And that's, that's what they just have to learn and take from this loss. Like Coach said in the locker room, remember this feeling because it hurts. Like I said, we put ourselves in a, in a position to win. You know, we came up a couple loose balls short, but just work hard at everything you do. Every time you touch the floor, just work hard, and the rewards will be there for you in the long run. Coach, what, what adjustment did the Queens make in the second half? The first, the uh, they shot some passing lanes for us. I got us. They got some runouts. Uh, they did a great job all night getting loose balls. Uh, they became very physical around the hole. Uh, you know, that's about it. You know, in the great scheme of things, I hate to sound like Clint Bryant, but this dude doesn't need to be here, man. Okay, uh, when we lose, you don't need to have a player here. It hurts too much for this guy. So, credit you for holding up. I think Clint's right on that rule. I don't know why we want to hear from the opposing player, uh, the losing team's great player, but I hate to sound like Clint Martin.